uh, here we go. Hello, hello, oh my goodness, it's so good to take a break, come on in, hello, hello, welcome to the broadcast, come on in and say hello, let me know where you're coming from, I know like many things have been happening since I spoke to you last, so hello and welcome, come on in, let me know that you're here so I can say a quick hello and then we will get started with the show, come on in, come on in, let me know that you are here. Let me see those hearts and let me know if you can hear me and see me. Okay. Hey, Ebony, how are you, darling? Good to see you. God bless you. Glad that you're here, honey. Glad that you're here. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. This is awesome. Doing something different today and you'll see what I'm talking about. Just a minute, I will tell you exactly what's happening. Uh, awesome. So thank you so much for coming in and you can see some things are a little different. So uh, we're trying different things. So hang, hang with us for a second. All right. So thank you so much for coming in. Let's get to the intro and then we'll get into the show. Okay. Well, hello there. Welcome to Confidence on Chain. This is the online coaching accountability and community you have been waiting for. My name is Minister Catherine Storing, and I am delighted to see you today. You're going to learn amazing things. Um, our main gifts are speaking, writing, and teaching, and we get to do that by helping people find their voice, find their words, and stand confidently on their speaking platform. Hang out because you're going to learn a lot. To learn more about us, just visit confidenceonchain.org and you're going to get all the information you need. But for now, let's get the show started. Wasn't that super cool? I really, really love that intro and I love that voice. I don't know who recorded that, but I love that girl's voice. So uh, thank you so much for coming in. Welcome. Yes, uh, we are doing some new things with the show. Welcome to the Confidence on Chain uh, show. I'm excited to see you. As you can see, I am Catherine Storing. I'm delighted that you are here. And um, thank you so much for coming in. Let me know now if you can hear me and see me okay by tapping on that screen. All you have to do is just gently tap on the screen and then I'll see the hearts pop up and that let me know that you're here, that you can hear me and see me okay and that we are ready to go. So go ahead and do that for me and then I'll know that we're good, okay? Awesome. Hi, Ashley. Where have you been, darling? I haven't seen you in a while. And thank you for the purple hearts. I see that. Awesome. Glad that you are here. All right. So we're going to talk today about four reasons why you're not achieving your dreams. Four, four reasons. And I'm going to tell you what those four reasons are. It's been tough. I'm sorry, darling. I'll definitely be praying for you. Thank you for letting me know. So very sorry about that. Thank you guys for the chocolate hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Really appreciate it. Let's look at those four things why, four reasons why you're not achieving your dreams, okay? Thank you for the, uh, the pink hearts too. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So those four reasons are, number one, you don't know what you're missing. Number two, lack of confidence. Number three, don't know what, um, how to get started. And number four, don't have motivation or the right community. So that's what the show today is about. I'm excited because I'm definitely going to be motivating some people that are feeling a little down today. So do me a favor. If you think this is going to be beneficial for your friends and followers, go ahead and invite them on Facebook, on Twitter, of course, on Periscope. Yes. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Let me invite my own. Um, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I like it too. Let me invite my own friends. Let me share my broadcast real quick. Um, but do me a favor. Thank you so much for sharing Bill for the storm. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for coming in. So I'm sharing for my to my own Facebook page. So do me a favor and do the same as well on Facebook, on Twitter, and Periscope. That's what I'm doing. Thank you for the hearts too, guys. You guys are so awesome. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for bearing with me as we figure this stuff out. Mrs. Vanessa, good to see you, my sister. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. So you guys are sharing. You're coming in. Tap on that screen. You know that I'm on my way to 4 million hearts, right? You know that, right? So do me a favor and share and share. Mrs. Vanessa, thank you so much for sharing. Really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget our friends on Facebook. They need this too, okay? Awesome. All right. So... Type the number one when you're ready. Type the number one, and then we will get started. Make sure that you get some, take some notes if you can. All is well. Glad that you're here, sis. Glad that you're here. Type those number ones, and we will get started on uh, number one. 
Thank you for sharing on Facebook, Bill, for the storm. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for the hearts. Really, really appreciate that. So type the number one and we will get started with the first reason why you're not achieving your dreams. Okay? Number one, don't know what's missing. Thank you. Thank you for the ones. Really appreciate that, guys. You don't know what's missing. Oh, my goodness. I was uh, working on some things this week and... Um, I was telling someone that I'm so glad that there's some things that haven't happened yet for me because if they had, I wouldn't know what I was missing. And I don't know if I'm talking to someone today, but there are some things that you need to explore. You need to be surrounded by the right people because it's going to make a big difference. You need to know what you're missing. Read a book. Go somewhere because great things are happening. It's like when you have a car, right? And you had it for a long time and you think you know your car, you drive it everywhere, and then you have somebody in your car that's never been in your car before, and then they, they touch a button that changes like the whole experience of the car, right? Changes the whole experience of the car. And all of a sudden you're like, I didn't know my car could do that. I had no idea my car could do that. And then boom. You know, right? So I don't want you to stay in that place. Hey, Dr. Walter Sims, how are you? You know that I'm obedient. My coach tells me to do something. I do it. So we're doing what you in Paris, co producer. Yes, sir, we are. So you need to know what's missing. If you don't know, ask other people. If you are trying to break into a new ministry, a new business, uh, a new career, ask them. Ask them, hey, uh, what, how does that look like? Where do I go? What are the benefits of doing this? They're going to tell you. They are going to tell you. So make sure that you don't stay in that place. Make sure that you don't stay in that place of, um, I don't know what's missing. All right? Hopefully that makes sense. Type the number two, guys, when you're ready. Thank you, Dr. Walter Sims. Waving right back. Hey, Nona. God bless you. Glad that you're here. Type the number two to move to the next to the next point. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you so much for typing the number two. Glad that you are here and that you're participating. Don't forget to tap on the screen, guys. That really helps me. That really encourages me and lets me know that everything is working exactly as it should. Number two, lack of confidence lack of confidence. I'm actually working on my new book right now, Confidence on Chain, and I need to get I need to get a move on that book because it's so needed. Every area of our lives gets touched by confidence. Type yes if you agree with that. Every area of our lives gets touched by having or lack of confidence. So many, thank you so much Ashley. Thank you Mrs. Vanessa. Thank you Bill for the storm. So many people don't do things because they have no confidence. Um, just this this couple of days ago, uh, one of my business partners uh, mentioned that he said, hey, uh, save this day at this time because we're going somewhere. And I was like, okay, sure, just tell me where we're going. And then he said, oh, we're just gonna go present to the Navy. I was like, okay. You know the what my answer was? I said, uh, yes. And then I said, what are we doing? That was my answer, yes. What are we doing? I didn't even know what we we're going to do, but if I get a chance to present to the Navy, I'm saying, yes, I'm going to go there. That means I have the confidence that I, whatever my friend is bringing to me, it's going to be quality and that I can deliver. Many people will be like, what are we going to do? What's going to happen? Who's going to be there? I'm like, no, 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 no. This is a big opportunity. I'm going to take this. I want you to think for yourself how many times you have said no to many opportunities because you had no confidence. Because you had no idea that you could do it. No idea, right? Hello, Joanna. How are you? God bless you. Glad that you're here, darling. You need to know that you're able to do things. But if you don't have the confidence to do it, you're going to say no to so many opportunities. And that was okay for 2016. It's certainly not okay for 2017. I hope that helps you. I hope that motivates you to move forward and realize that if you have no confidence or very little confidence, you need to work on that like ASAP. All right? All right. Type the number three when you're ready to move on to the next point. Thank you so much for the hearts. I really appreciate you guys' participation. Um, I'm excited that you're here because I've been dying to share this content and I know that it's so needed. Awesome. Thank you, Nona. Thank you for the number three. So don't forget to tap on the screen. Thank you for the, who's the purple hearts and who's the chocolate hearts? Love the combination. Thank you, Ashley. Really appreciate that. Awesome. Number three. Love that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bill for the storm. Thank you so much. Number three, don't know how to get started. You have no idea how to get started. Mrs. Vanessa, I love you. Don't know how to get started. And that stops so many people. I was telling my producer earlier that I'm all about flying by the seams of my pants. I need to do something. I'm going to jump head in first 
I'll figure it out as I'm going down. That's what I do. Thank you, Nona, for the purple hearts. You know purple is my favorite color. If I'm jumping off a parachute, I'm going to go down and be like, I'll figure it out when I get there. It'll be fine. I'm not saying that works for everyone, but you need to get started. No knowing is not an excuse. Not knowing how to do something. Like today, after I finish this, I'm going to embark on something that I haven't done before, that I've been dancing around. And I said, forget it, Catherine Store, and you're doing this today. You're going to figure it out. It might not be perfect. It might take you an hour. It might take you five hours. Whatever it's going to take me, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get started. There's always a tutorial. You can Google it. You can ask a friend. You can text somebody. You can say, hey, uh, have you done this before? Ask questions. Don't stay in the dark because that's not an excuse anymore we are too grown we are too blessed to stay in the dark saying I don't know it's just unacceptable okay does that make sense your coach is telling you it's completely unacceptable that you stay in that place for so long that, that you don't know how to get started all right thank you for the hearts guys really appreciate that type the number four when you're ready to move on to the next point number four on the screen and we will get moving to point number four and thank you for the hearts guys you guys like are on it like a bonnet I love that thank you thank you for the purple and the um, brown chocolate hearts awesome thank you thank you so much really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you number four thank you for the fourths really appreciate that number four don't have motivation or the right community now this is big this is like gigantically big so big it's not even funny there are some things that are not happening in your life because you don't have the right motivation or you don't have the right people hi Dan hey how are you darling how are you that's my like my blood sister is here hi how are you we are this is the show being produced I hope you like it because I know you have some high standards so I hope you appreciate it um, you don't have motivation and then the people that you're hanging out with they're telling you that it's okay they're like, let's just go have some pizza. Let's just go to the store. Let's just go to the movies. And they're not really motivating you towards the things that you can do. I was working on some stuff. And the people in my community, they are so encouraging. I can share a video of what I'm doing. I can give them a screenshot. And let's say, hey, what about this? And they get back to me. They never say, why are you working on a Saturday? Why are you writing on a Saturday? Never. Not once have they said that to me. They say, right on, Catherine. That's awesome. You're a superstar. You're doing amazing things. Thank you for the encouragement because as I do, I encourage them as well. You know, and I'm talking to someone right now, you know that your community, it's not good anymore. You know that you have outgrown your community when you are the biggest fish, when you are the one having all the ideas all the time. That's right, Ashley. Thank you for your honesty, darling. When you are the one that has all the ideas all, all the time, when you are the one that has to motivate everyone, when you are the one that has to be on people to get things done, it's time to move. Listen to me. I know it's painful. I know it. Because right after this broadcast, before I start writing, I'm firing down and it has to be sent. Hey, my brother. How are you? God bless you. Glad that you're here. Right before right I finish this, I'm going to be sending an email and say goodbye. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate the times that we have together, but this friendship has it's it's rich its limits. It's not producing anymore, and I'm I'm putting in more that I'm getting back. If you think, if you think, let me tell you something: that in every relationship you are not supposed to get anything back, you are mistaken. In every relationship, when you go to Starbucks, you give them money, they give you a coffee. You're driving, and your car needs you're driving. The car gets you places, but you have to put gas on. Every relationship requires you. It, it, it's a friend, it's, it's a past friend that it's, um, goes MIA all the time and is very finicky and we, don't, we just, we're not going to the same place. So unfortunately, I'm going to cut ties with that because what happens is um, there's energy that goes there. There's energy that drags you down, right? And my sister knows exactly what I'm talking about. There's energy that goes there that I don't want that anymore. I want you to think about a person that is draining you. That whenever you, I call those emotional vampires. Whenever you spend time with them, you feel bad about yourself. Whenever you hang out with them, you're like, I was feeling really excited before. What happened? Why am I not excited anymore? Right? It's crazy. It's totally crazy. Awesome, guys. Thank you for the hearts. Don't forget to tap on that screen. Those are the four reasons why you're not achieving your dreams. Yes, Ashley. Leeches for sure. Awesome. I'm going to give you a recap in case you got here late. But before I give you the recap, I'm going to ask you to 
Uh, check this out, something that we have coming up that I'm really excited about. So stay tuned. Don't forget to tap on that screen. Invite your friends again because if they did not watch the broadcast, they'll be able to catch the um, the recap. So please do me a favor and invite again your friends on Facebook and Periscope, uh, Twitter as well, so they can catch the, uh, the recap, okay? So let me tell you what's going to be coming uh, very, very soon. There you have it. I'm having my first free webinar of the year, okay? My first ever free webinar this year on 2017, how uh, four steps to boost your confidence. Four steps to boost your confidence. It's a free webinar. I'm not selling anything. Um, it's all giving. I'm just giving you stuff. Take a screenshot of that. The link is right there. Um, you don't, I don't have to write it down. Just take a picture of that and that's it. Thank you guys for the hearts. Make sure that you that take a screenshot of this and share on Twitter because that's going to help your friends find it, okay? It's going to help your friends find it. Thank you so much for the hearts. Really, really appreciate that. So, all right. Awesome. Thank you for sharing, Dr. Walter Sims. Really appreciate that. Um, let's go back to the recap real quick. Number one was don't know what you're missing. Okay, that was number one. I'm going to put all the four steps on the screen now so you can have them. Num and you can take a screenshot of that so you can remember what we talked about. Number one, don't know what's missing. You cannot. It's not okay to stay in that place. You have to figure out what it is and move forward. Number two, lack of confidence. And that's an excuse that a lot of people use for a very long time. I don't know. Oh, uh, you're, you're adorable. Thank you. You're so cute. Thank you. We appreciate that. Um, I don't have confidence. I don't know how to do that. That's not enough. Okay. You need to figure it out. Read a book. My books, you can see right behind me. Um, Styling Face talks all about confidence. Pick something up. Work with a coach. Do whatever you need to do in order to become more confident. Number three, don't know how to get started. Again, the same things apply. You cannot stay there. Well, you know, um, Catherine, you know, she's been doing this for a while, so of course she knows what to do. I don't know what to do. Or, oh, that person has a team, and I don't have a team, so, you know, I'm not even going to try. No, no, no. You need to know what is the first step. My dad used to say all the time, whenever you're doing something complicated, break it down. It's like when you have to write a compound word, you know what you do? You break it down. Uh, you start with, with the root word and then you build from there. I thought that was genius. My dad preached and whenever he preached, he used that analogy all the time. So you need to know what's the beginning. What is the first step? Don't think about the hundred steps. Think about the first step. What is the first step? Okay. Hope that's helping somebody. Number four, don't have motivation or the right community. If you don't have motivation, take a shower. I cannot tell you how many times I was feeling down, feeling like not uh, up to par and not excited about things. I take a shower, I feel like a million bucks. The right community, don't hang out with the same people. You can't hang out with the same people because if they're not going anywhere, that's exactly where you're gonna end up, okay? I hope that quick little recap helped you if you got here late. I hope that it blesses you too. As you can see there, um, the link for the webinar is there. So if you forgot to take a screenshot, this is your chance to do it. I'm going to give you a minute so you can ask me any questions or make any comments about the show today about the four reasons why you are not achieving your dreams. I'm telling you, great things are happening. But you have to decide that great things are happening. So many people all the time think, oh, all this bad stuff is happening. Yeah, it's true. But at the same time, why concentrate on that? I know a lot of things are happening. Some people are happy. Some people are sad. Um, is that affecting you directly, directly right now? Are you being affected by that right now? What's happening? Concentrate on your business. Concentrate on how you're going to help people. Concentrate on sharing your gifts and your talents. Uh, whatever is happening, happening somewhere else, it's happening regardless, whether you want it or not. Let's concentrate on the things that we can change. I call that things that are inconsequential, things that you cannot change. It's as simple as that. If you cannot change it, concentrate on something else. I hope that helps you guys. Um, that was my recap. I give you the chance to ask questions. I want to invite you to the webinar again. Um, you will see uh, the information, four steps to raise your confidence. It's four, um, four steps. I'm not going to sell anything. That's the link. That's the time. Um, you don't have to. You don't want to miss it because it's going to be amazing. Really, you do not want to miss it. I want to thank you for coming. This is the first time ever using Periscope Producer. It's amazing. I'm really excited. Seems like you guys are excited. I love to have um, that I can have my information there. I can have the links so I don't have to ask you somebody to uh, post them for me. I want to give you a final message. So don't go anywhere because you're going to be able to find out a little more about what we do. 
But in the meantime, thank you so much for being here. And don't forget to catch us on the next Confidence Unchained uh, show. And there we go with this message. Did you have a good time? Did you learn something about confidence? We sure hope you did. This was your Confidence Unchained show with your hostess, Catherine Storing. We hope to see you again next time. We pray that you continue to grow and do amazing things. Until that time, make sure that you visit us at confidenceonchain.org. God bless you.